thank you for coming. I know people came from call station this time. Thank you for coming. And, uh, and well, I'm very happy to be here today. This is my first day living in Houston. I just moved yesterday. <laughs> After almost 17 years dedicated to College Station, five, five years in Nebraska, then Sweden coming back to College Station, my children, they graduated from Texas A&M, and they are here living in Houston, my grandchildren too. So it's time to move here, and I started, uh, and I will start a new life teaching biology, environmental science, and also teaching piano, and composing, and just uh, having wonderful moments with you like today. So this program was just present, uh, prepared in two months ago after spring break when I sent my boxes of food to Venezuela. I thought that day, well, it's only three boxes, boxes of food. What else can I do for my country, for all the people, uh, for the children? That day of meditation and praying, I said, well, the Lord gave me the gift. The only thing that I have is the gift of the music. Let me share this and prepare and maybe a, a, a recital. The next day, my student from my former student from biology, they visited me in my lab and they uh, they told they asked me, "What else can we do for Venezuela?" And I said, "Really? That is praying in action." They came and I said, "We'll try to do something for my event. I'm trying to think of in a concert." Immediately, they came with the idea of this wristband. Mm -hmm. I have saved Venezuela. I have one of the representation from the, the student, from my former student here. <laughs> and then in the same day, in the same week, this, uh, people from uh, Venezuela, Venezuela that live in College Station, we had a meeting. And we joined with the idea, OK, let's start with something good, a concert. Perfect. The support from them. Then I came here. And Maggie, I saw Maggie, uh, the piano lady, piano lady, Chinese piano lady. She <laughs> saw me playing the piano, and she said, wow, that is interesting the way that you play. Let me make an interview for you. In this process of the interview, I discovered this wonderful area to have a recital. She offered to support Venezuela with this uh, place. So everything came together. One concert in College Station, other here. The success from College Station was amazing. I think the Quattro for Venezuela will say in the, very soon what was the result. It was a success. And at the same time, they were collecting uh, formula and many other things for our children. And so that's why we're here. I prepared this after only a few weeks. But everything came together, and I think it's good. Uh, this project of preparing music from Venezuela started in 1999. My first CD is Venezuela Mia, that you can see there. It's with 21 songs composed for piano, originally for piano, but never recorded. <coughs> so I recorded this accompanied by guitar and cuatro. And after almost 20 years, this project there, just in a drawer, because when I recorded, I moved here to the United States in 2002. And my interest was to project Venezuela, the, the Venezuela that formed me as a pianist. But that Venezuela was disappearing. And to be with the responsibility to say, this is Venezuela, this is our music, but that was kind of a contradiction. This is the Venezuela where I, I grew up, but now this is not the Venezuela that I want to show. You know, there were like several years watching this transformation, not for the good. You know what happened. And that's why I said, the day that Venezuela will be like the Venezuela that saw me growing and the Venezuela that I wanted for my children, that day I will be very proud to be say to say this is the music from Venezuela I'm representing Venezuela and now this is the moment this is the moment because I didn't want it to be associated with the Venezuela that changed my original Venezuela you know in this process I met 
Uh, I met Luis Jose like maybe five years ago, but I, I, I came for a concert. He was performing beautiful Latin music, and in one of the Facebook, he said, I would love to play with you. I gave him my CD, and the day came, and I called him, hey, would you like to play? Yes, only two months, and that's why we, you will listen today. <laughs> we are just a new seed start. And very proud to present my music from Venezuela, traditional music, and the second part, music that I have composed, thinking all the time in my Venezuela. So ready, we are going to the Concierto La Llanura. The composer, he passed away only a few months ago, two months ago, Juan Vicente Torrealba. This song was composed to be performed in harp, harp, cuatro, and maracas. But the piano is like a harp, so I'm going to play the transcription from the original piece to piano. Just, I invite you to go to the saints of Venezuela.
La bacholada. Now, this is a merengue. A merengue from Venezuela. Eh, the bacholada is oh, a song from somebody with the name Bartolo. <laughs> bacholada. But the Venezuelans' merengues are five eight. Toco merengue, toco merengue. But this was a, a very popular uh, song harmonized by Vicente Emilio Soho, and he converted this song in a two voices and three voices kind of uh, invention. It's kind of challenging for any pianist. So enjoy this short uh, merengue.
now we go to the Venezuelan rhythm, Moliendo Café. Moliendo wow. Café. Okay, Moliendo Café is grounding coffee, and the rhythm, like, you know, in the, it's more um, Caribbean sound, and if you know the song, you can sing, you know, that is the kind of concert that uh, we are having today. How many of you know Moliendo Café? <laughs> okay, it's Moliendo Café with a rhythm, a kind of a, uh, oh, you will know this. It's, I, I made a little change with this rhythm. Ready? Somebody here from Falcón. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was born there, <laughs> right there. <laughs> so one of the most beautiful places in, in Venezuela.
Caballo Viejo. Oh. Caballo Viejo. I just prepared that song few, few weeks, few days ago. <laughs> Caballo Viejo, how, you know, how important it is in our music. Now. Simon Diaz, Caballo Viejo. And the story is about, it's not about the story, right? The story is about finding love again when we are, we are old. Everywhere. Even in Texas A&M, we 
have the barrel roll with you. <laughs> so this is when I uh, when I met this uh, Ebenezer Castellanos, who was the composer. Uh, in that time, I wanted to play music from Venezuela in the Conservatory Juan Jose Landaeta, and that was not in the fancy. A long time ago, Venezuelan music was not included. Uh, I asked to my piano teacher, I want to play music from, my, from Venezuela. I really want. She said, well, let's see. I know uh, Evencio Castellano is my colleague, and he composed this song. Let's ask him about this beautiful song. I went to his office. He gave me the original, and I was the first student playing that song. He gave me the copy. He waited for me. <laughs> then I was making the copy. I came back, OK. <laughs> and I played that song. Uh, and now it's uh, in the CD, Venezuela Mia, it's, uh, it's with the arrangement of called Piano, Cuatro, and Guitar. Ready?
el diablo suelto. El diablo suelto is the, the devil is loose. But it's the song that if you listen the the lyrics, it's telling, okay, parents, be careful because the devil is loose around. So and the children will do crazy things. Okay? And for any uh, musician, any performer, this is a challenging piece. And the other one.
acabo de tocar acá en D minor. Always, it's 
always the Southern Lights, especially in the evening or in the morning, it's the, always the Southern Lights. One day, just driving, I remember this moment. <laughs> ready to capture the fish. No? Then, when I was arriving to the lake, I had to turn on the, the engine of my boat. And you know the sound? Yes. So that is my sound of memory from that moment. Then, uh, going to the roost of the cormorants that uh, they roost in the mangrove, um, all of them are thousands of cormorants, and when you reach the place, is they live in B formation. So los cormorants, cuando salen, salen volando en B, y esto es. Okay. Luego, el lago de Maracaibo is so big that we have waves, and the waves is this. Uh, just relax and enjoy this uh, song, Escenas del Lago de Maracaibo, <coughs> seen from Maracaibo Lake. At the end, I will ask you, if you remember, because I'm a teacher, you will, be, you will have a quiz. <laughs> what is each part, okay? <laughs> and um, if you want to enjoy this, this is already in YouTube. The, I have a beautiful video that the videographer, he captured all my ideas and he put in one video all my song with video. So I enjoy, I'm just always surrounded with water.
que vean todos ustedes.
One is sentimiento venezolano or Venezuelan feeling. The other is migration, migración. The other is um, from winter to spring. Um, it was my experience living in Sweden. <coughs> Can you imagine for the first time in my life the snow mm -hmm. and five months of snow that was beautiful. I love it. Mm -hmm. And the transition from winter to spring. I put that emotions in in a composition. And then the other is amigo del alma or friendship. <coughs> because when you are in other countries, you friends are your, your neighbors, your friends are your family. So I put that in music. It's kind of a suite. A suite is a composition of several pieces. And I would love to invite any orchestra or director to play this with me. And in a very nice project. Maybe that could be the next four this is a premiere here, the premiere in Houston. So I only had the, the orchestra part uh, done. Uh, it was one of my piano students. He's now uh, uh, com well, a, a director uh, of the Banda Simon Bolivar in Maracaibo. And he's a very good composer too. And he made the arrangement of all my music. I told him, okay, this is the part where I, I love the violin. So he understood all my additional parts and he put in his computer the orchestra part. Oh, wow. <laughs> so that's why I have, it's not polished, but it's, it's the premiere, we saw it. We are family. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, and this is, uh, aquí está, Venezuela. Cuando tengo esto, cuando poco, cuando toco, Esa es mi mamá llamándonos a comer arepa. Vengan muchachos a comer arepa. Oh, any mom calling children? Hey, come everybody, the food is ready. Kind of tambourine tone, but it's always that you listen this three or four so, uh, four notes. It's an adaptation of tambourine tone, ta -da -ta -ta, the four string of the quad. Okay? Uh, when the family is together, everybody is like talking, and this is what we have. Um, I play my piano. Oh, when the children are just running everywhere, todos los niñitos, you oyen la escala. Oh, todos los niñitos corriendo. Así que este es cuando la familia está junta.
migración es eh, eh, muy importante para mí y bueno, para todos. Pero coincidió con que yo estaba estudiando aves migratorias. Eh, aquí en, en Texas A&M, mi PhD es en Wildlife and Fishing Science. Y vine a estudiar cormorants o long distance migratory birds. Cormorants. Pero cuando llegué aquí, la situación fue que ya no me daban una be la beca. Y entonces, Texas A&M me dio la beca. Cambió el destino de Conafit, suspendió becas para los Estados Unidos. Y dije, ok. Y me preguntaron, they asked me, do you mind if we change cormorant for whooping cranes? Whooping cranes. We don't have whooping cranes in Venezuela, no tenemos whooping cranes. Grullas, grullas blancas. No tenemos whooping cranes, pero bueno, si long distance migratory birds, eh, I became expert in whooping cranes for North America. Me volví experta y al mismo tiempo que describía o ponía todo en un modelo de simulación, entendiendo la vida de los whooping cranes, cómo migran, al mismo tiempo mi vida estaba migrando y se combinaron los sentimientos. Cuando hago esta parte... Es muy triste, muy sad. Imagine, in Texas, why they, are, they have the chips The, the you and I. Why do we have to migrate? The same like my children. ¿Por qué vamos a migrar? 13 y 15 años. Uh, the whooping cranes, they migrate from Texas to Canada. And if you could describe how they fly, if I could fly, I think my music is like, if I could fly, this is what I experience. Luego, buscar dónde parar, stopovers. Where's the stop? Where we will go? Here, there, no. In the other place, okay. With this part. No, the other place. No. <laughs> That is the same feeling. Uh, when they arrive, when the whooping cranes arrive to Canada, everything is frozen. There's no food, and all the energy is stored, and they have to use that. Lo mismo nosotros. Cuando llegamos a un nuevo sitio, todas las energías, todo lo ahorrado se usa. Y es muy difícil. Y es esta parte que yo pongo en acordes. Chords to express how deep and how difficult is to start in a new place. Luego, the spring, or the, the spring and the summer. The chords are broken, and now I play arpeggios. Las cosas empiezan a mejorar con el tiempo, pero luego nuevamente hay que migrar. ¿Por qué? In the case of the whooping crane, they have to migrate again. The fall migration, spring and fall migration, and again, coming back to Texas. In our life, <laughs> en nuestra vida es distinto. Bueno, a veces nos toca migrar a otro lado, o simplemente tenemos ese sentimiento de que algún día regresar. Si no, es como un día como hoy, todos están aquí y yo tengo creo que un pedacito de Venezuela acá. Un pedazo. <risa> okay. eh, hay una parte de la canción, si me quieren acompañar, esta parte si ustedes les gusta cantar o silbar, esta parte.
<risa> ya me mudé, ya, ya podemos hacer. Ya Aquí estoy. Eh, hay dos piezas muy lindas más. Esta está en mi CD. Eh, tengo cuatro CD. Eh, Migration. Ahí está una versión, eh, edición especial. Special edition, porque está la parte grabada con la orquesta. Esta. Eh, está acá mi, mi CD Memories of America Inspired in Nebraska. Muchísimas composiciones eh, hechas con mi experiencia viviendo en Nebraska, estudiando los trains, las grullas, eh, el río, hay cosas muy lindas. Bueno, por supuesto, recordando mi país y capturando la misma, la esencia de la naturaleza en música. Está mi CD, el nuevo, que no está en Spotify, se llama Nature and Inspiration. He hecho muchas de las piezas en, aquí en College Station y Bryan, piezas compuestas en Texas. Y, y el otro es Venezuela Mía, que como dije, lo, lo hice hace 20 años. Una de las, pie las piezas, algunas piezas no las tocaba, honestamente, desde hace casi 19, 20 años. O sea, las recuperé. <ríe> qué, qué, qué maravilla el cerebro. <ríe> La memoria mecánica está ahí. ¿no? Um, bueno, y ahora cerramos con el alma llanera. <ríe> going through a very difficult time, as you know. So, you know, reach out, find, find ways. 
Keep in mind that uh, Karina has dedicated many, many hours uh, with the Luz Fe in practicing and pulling all this together. Uh, if you want to have a token of, of appreciation for her and for Luz Fe, you can buy the CDs or just buy the, the actually the bracelets are 100% donation to Cuatro and $5 from the CD, that's, it's only $20. It's what you would spend one week of Starbucks, right? So yeah. just keep that in mind. And please help us welcome her to, to Houston. So thank, thank you very you much. Yeah.